Keepers live here today with my fourth lesson of my beginner tutorials playlist here on YouTube. In today's lesson, I will be covering how to do chest rolls and back rolls. So if you'd like to learn how to do both of those types of rolls, I suggest you keep on watching. Now we're going to go on and talk right about hoop size. So for this lesson, I recommend that you have a smaller, lighter hoop. You can totally do chest and back rolls with beginner dance hoops, but they tend to be a little bit more harder to accomplish because the hoops are so dang heavy, okay? So I suggest you have a lighter hoop. In today's lesson, I am going to be using a 30 inch UV green polypro in 5 8 thickness, and I got this hoop from the spinsters. Getting right onto the lesson, we are first going to discuss how to do a chest roll, okay? I want you to start off with the hoop in the J part of your hand. This is a super fun grip that my friend Madison actually helped me name. So you're gonna take your J and you're going to stick it on your hula hoop, right? And then you're going to wrap your fingers around. I'm going to be teaching how to do chest rolls from the right side because I'm right-handed. This video is mirrored, so go ahead and follow me exactly like how you see on your computer, phone, or tablet. From here, we want to make sure our body is in check, okay? We want to make sure our arms are spread out nice and long, no weird angles. We want them nice and straight, okay? From here, we want to take our bodies and bend them way, way back, okay? As a beginner, I definitely recommend that you lean as far back with your chest rolls as possible because you want a nice, open, flat space for that hoop to travel down, okay? And it also helps to make sure your face is completely out of the way because as a beginner, you might tend to hit your face <laughs> with chest rolls. So from here, we are going to take our hoop that's holding our hand and we are going to just warm up our wrist a little bit by flexing it up and down okay chest rolls are all wrist action okay I know sometimes as we get our hoopers we might tend to move our arms up to get the hoop on our chest but believe me if you start practicing the correct way at first it's totally gonna pay off later because you won't have to break any bad habits so let's just go ahead and warm up our wrists here, waving our hoop up and down, making sure we have a nice relaxed grip with the hoop, okay? Once we start to feel some tension building up in our arm, that means our wrist is all warmed up. And from here, I want you to let go of the hoop, bend way, way back, and I want you to aim for your forearm on the side that is tossing your hula hoop, okay? So I'm flicking down, and then I'm flicking up, aiming for my forearm, okay? Chest rolls are all wrist action, which means that it takes a good amount of strength developed in your wrist in order to achieve them. Chest rolls took me about a month to get, but they're definitely a trick that you have to drill if you want it. Okay, so we're flicking our wrist down and then flicking it up, aiming for this little arm right here, our forearm, okay? Once you feel like you have gotten the hoop at least up onto your forearm, we are going to be talking about how to spot the hula hoop. If you want a nice, clean chest roll, you need to look at your hula hoop as it's following all the way down your arm to be received in the other hand. Okay, so watch my eyes. Nice, long extension in my arm, all in the wrist right here, I'm flicking it down, and then up on my forearm, and watching my hoop all the way through. If you watch your hoop all the way through, it gives you time to adjust your arm, your receiving arm, if you see the hoop starting to roll any kind of direction, okay? So it's very important when you're doing your chest rolls, you need to lean way, way back and follow through with your gaze. So let's go ahead and practice chest rolls a couple times together. 
Three, two, one, flip down, flip up, follow through, catch. Three, two, one, flip down, flip up, follow through, catch. Again, three, two, one, flip down, bend back, 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 catch. So those are my tips for how to get a nice clean chest roll. Just to review again, you want to be one, leaning so far back you think your back might break, but actually make sure you're keeping your balance and don't hurt yourself. It's not that serious, it's just a hula hoop. <laughs> uh, two, we want to be flicking up and aiming for our forearm, as well as three, we want to be following through with our hula hoop the entire time. Now, if you're an intermediate hooper and you feel like you're ready to go ahead and do a back roll, I will be discussing how to do that for you right here, right now. We do the back roll, starting off in the same grip with our J position, right? We got the J, putting the J on our hoop. And it is the same wrist movement that we do in a chest roll. Now, with a back roll, I like to recommend my students bend very far forward so their body makes a 90 degree angle. Just like how in chest rolls, when we bend way, way back, we want to make sure we are exaggerating this movement so we can give our hula hoops a nice flat space to roll down, okay? If you're a beginner at back rolls and you try to do it standing up, it's probably not going to work out the best for you. When I was learning back rolls, I first had to start off by leaning very far forward. So starting with our back rolls, we have the hoop in the J part of our hand. We are going to bend very much so far forward, making sure that we are keeping our hula hoops in wall plane, which means that it is parallel with the wall in front or behind you. So from this bent 90 degree angle, I want you to go ahead and turn your gaze towards your hula hoop. And I want you to give it a couple of flicks of your wrist, but do not let go of the hula hoop just yet. I want you to gauge how your aim is looking, okay? You can gauge how your aim is looking by seeing if your hula hoop is coming up any diagonal or wonky way as you flick your wrist, okay? So if you're flicking it and it's coming up kind of at an angle towards your face, it's not going to roll down your back nicely. Likewise, if you're flicking it and you find that the hula hoop is flicking back towards the wall or space behind you, it's not going to roll on your back. You want to have it flick straight up into the air and touch your arm. Okay, so let's practice that a couple of times. Flick up and touch, flick up and touch, flick up and touch. Okay, you're really just using the muscles in your wrist to get that hula hoop up and touching this part of your arm. Once you feel secure in your aim, I want you to let go of the hula hoop and don't even worry about catching it yet. You just want to let go and see if it rolls across your back. So we are going to practice flicking up and letting go two times together. Three, two, one. Make sure you're bent all the way forward here. Three, two, one. Flick up and roll. Again, three, two, one. Flick up and roll. Okay? So after you feel comfortable with at least getting the hula hoop up and onto your back, I want you to go ahead and turn around and look at your receiving hand after you've tossed the hula hoop, okay? So just like with the chest roll, how we wash the hula hoop, leave one hand and enter the next, we are going to spot our hula hoop as it does a back roll too because we want to catch it, right? How do we expect to catch it if we're not looking at it? So it's the same thing. After you've flipped it up, immediately turn your head to the side and follow your hoop with your gaze and catch it in the other hand. So now that we know all the mechanics of the back roll, let's practice it two times together. Three, two, one, bend down, flick, catch. Again, three, two, one, bend down, flick, catch. And just to review, the three mechanics that are super important for back rolls is one, bending way, way down, Two, flicking our hoop up and making sure that it touches our forearm. And three, making sure we turn our 
head all the way to the side so we can catch our hoop in our receiving hand. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining me today on how to learn chest and back rolls. I hope you see that they're really not as hard as you think they are, but they do require a fair bit of practice. So keep practicing, we'll get there eventually. I hope you're able to come and learn with me on my fifth lesson in my beginner hoop tutorials playlist, which will be on hand spins and palm spins. Thanks for watching guys, I hope I see you next time.